Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So in this video we will learn about UI testing in Jetpack Compose and Compose Multi-Platform both. Right. So first of all let's discuss why UI testing is important. Right. So testing your UI is crucial to ensure that your app behaves as expected across different devices and platforms right in this video we will cover everything you need to know about writing effective ui tests in jetpack compose and compose multi-platform right so what are the advantages of this like ui testing basically so ui testing ensures that your app's user interface behaves correctly right it helps catch bugs early and ensure a consistent experience across all users right so let's continue with setup of of UI testing things in Jetpack Compose. So, so we need to use these two dependencies for testing in Jetpack Compose basically UI test JNet4 and UI test manifest. You can check them here, right? They are already added by default when you create new project, right? But you just need to make sure if it is added there, right? And I have some single simple screen here, I will show you. So that login screen, we will be taking the example of that login screen. Suppose we have this login screen. If I am filling the fields here and then click login, there is no error, right? It means it's successful. But if something like some field is empty, it will show this error message here. So oh, these two scenarios, we need to like tackle them in UI testing, right? How we can do that? So if you see, this is the simple screen code. We have two fields, text fields, they have text, email, password, then we have this button, then we have one click, we have validation. We check if fields are not empty, then login success, else we show this error message here in the text, right? So let's start writing the unit test for this. Suppose this is the simple test class in the Android test, you need to create test class here. So we use the compose rule here, right? compose test rule right so we need to call this function right and let's apply the rule annotation to this it is the getter annotation right and then let's create one function here uh, login screen empty fields underscore show error right we want to verify this behavior you want to test this behavior right so in the ui testing we need to learn about three things basically i will explain them here so first of all compose test dot rule dot set content so here we can set the content whatever content we want to test so here we want to test the login screen right this login screen right and then then suppose we have we need to use on node method right and has text right so in the error case what we'll do is Without filling the fields, first step we need to do is press the login button, right? So we will perform click. So what it will do? So this is the finder basically. These are called the finders. On node, this is the finder, right? And if you see, it's accepting the matchers. So matchers are like some functions you see. They matches the nodes in the UI tree, like semantics tree. So by this text, suppose we have this has text, it will be finding the node with this text, right? These are the matchers and this is the finder. And similar thing we can do with another method as well. On node with text. This is the short version of that simple method we have. So we don't need to use the finder. Oh sorry, matchers here, right? And this is the action. So this is the you see, you see this is the finder matchers action. Right, what action we want to perform on that node and these nodes it finds in the semantics UI tree. So semantics UI tree is 
used by the accessibility service right so when composition happens it creates that ui tree right it's similar to the compose ui tree right but few differences are there right now first of all we need to press this login button then what we need to do then oh, node with text we need to make sure after that after that what will happen is some error will be there and on that text this message will be there so we need to test this message basically if some node with this message exists right assert exists so this is assertion right four topics we have covered this is the finder these are the matchers these are the actions these are assertions right so let's try to run it if you see successful right but if i change it like something one it will be failed because it will not find any node with this message if you see it's failed right now let's test the success behavior right so valid credentials right invoke login success right so here again what content we need login screen then suppose so this step will not be performing here we'll be performing it later so before that what we need to do is we need to get the input fields so we need to find the nodes with text email and password right so, and then suppose for email after finding what we need to do is perform text input and what is the input suppose we are just entering any email here right similarly for password this is the text this should be the similar what we have specified here right and then we will be performing the login and then what we need to do is let's say let's say we take one variable right success and by first initially it is false and here we are setting it true so now we'll have to make sure this variable is set to true right because whenever success will happen so this callback will be called and this will become true dot we don't need actually this assert success is true right let's try to run it so if you see this is working successfully Now let's suppose the same things we need to move do in the compose multi platform, right? So for that, let's copy this class methods, or maybe even this class, right? And I will show you what differences we need to make there. So for the compose multi platform, we need to set a few dependencies. So this is the step one for desktop testing. We need to set up this dependency. For that, we need this source and this dependency. This is required, right? and then in the common test source set we need to add the kotlin test dependency and the compose ui test dependency right and then in this step 2 we need to set up the instrumented test variant source set as well for android right in the android target right then we have this step 3 we need to test uh, we need to set up the test instrumentation runner as well for the android right then we have the fourth step so these are android specific testing dependencies which i just explained in the jetpack compose these are the same test implementation and debug for ui manifest and ui unit j unit right ui test so after you are done with these dependencies 
then you need to need to make sure like here we have created this dependency common test if it is not exist you can create it like this directory common test kotlin right and here we need to add that file suppose we have added this file here right if you see it is not able to find these dependencies because they does not exist in the compose multi platform they are android specific right so let's remove them and let's import the correct annotations yeah so now what changes we need to make instead of this we need to use run compose ui test here right and this is experimental api and then we need to remove all these goals so we just need to remove the compose test rule goals they are directly available inside this right on node with text and everything similarly for this one as well run compose ui test and then this remove this 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 and finally let's assert test with assert true that is not available here so let's test with this right so these are the just few changes we need to make after setting the dependencies so now let's try to run them here so as of now i'm making this video so running android test from here like directly this green icon they don't work for android as of now but they work for desktop and ios let's try to run on desktop ah if you see test one passed right if you let's try to run both so if you run class it will run both right if you see test two test passed two of two tests right it's working fine now let's try to run it on ios as well yeah they are working on ios as well if you see so android sorry desktop and ios they are working fine now i will show you how we can test them in the android side so we, we can use this command basically for testing them in the compose app so this command is like very common if you know about this like if you have done testing your testing from the command line in android app right so this is that command right so but here we need to run this from the compose app module right so let's try to run but what will happen is this will run all ui tests right we can find some workaround like running this single class as well maybe some arguments will be there like tests we can specify class name or something right as of now till like this option does not work for android right if you see starting two tests it's starting the tests now yeah if you see successful so both tests are successful on android as well so if you see android ios and desktop this ui testing is working perfectly fine right and on web as well i was facing some issues there maybe but you can try to run it but i was like facing some issues there maybe some things are not smooth as well there so yeah that's all about this uh, ui testing we have covered the full guide we have covered like finders assertions actions matchers all these things semantics ui tree right so how they works what are these right so all the concepts we covered here so i hope you have enjoyed the video and if you have enjoyed it please please like share and comment on it and if you are new to my youtube channel please 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 do consider subscribing that will motivate me to create more videos like this right so i will see you in another video with another cool content till then bye bye take care have a great time keep coding